welcome to me. I'm Jana Alderspa and I'm the chief steward here at Ibico. So now we are in the warm-up. Now we're in the warm-up for the dress house. Yes. Thank you so much for that uh, introduction. Jana, chief steward. Yes. What are you doing here? I mean, you are all over the world, uh, as I uh, understand at least. Uh, we see you at every big competition and now you're here at JPK. Yeah, and I've actually been here a few years now and um, I'm sent out from FEI, the Federation, of, uh, the International Federation. Yeah. And I'm here both for the dressage and for the jumping. And first of all, for the horse's welfare. Yeah. We see to the horse's welfare that everybody is competing on the same levels and, and follows the rules. That's the main thing. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. I mean, that's very up these days, the, the, the welfare of the horses. Yeah, it is really. Here uh, in the dressage, we check the horses in the morning. Uh, first, we start in the stable so we know that they're not doing anything that is against the rules. Mm -hmm. Like we found, uh, we found a trainer schooling in the box from mm -hmm. the ground, which is absolutely forbidden. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, we also see it so that they keep medicine and everything away from the horses. Mm -hmm. And, and, and also for the safety of the horses, they don't put things too close so they can injure themselves during the night. Uh -huh. Then uh, we welcome them here in the warm up in the morning and we look when they are, are schooling the horses in the morning so they don't do too much. Don't so the, the training uh, the, is not yeah, too the, rough. The personal training is, yeah. Yeah, no. not too rough, not too hard, and absolutely no riding with hyperflexion or, or everything uh -huh. like that. And uh, after that, we welcome them again for the warm up for the competition. And before competition, we have familiarization. And then they are welcome in the main arena to see how the arena is built, and so they are not so, so tense when they come in there. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then after the competition, we also take care of them. We look at the uh, the equipment they have, mm -hmm. so the horse is not injured, mm -hmm. not from the spurs, that they have the mm -hmm. right bridles and the right bits, and so that they're safe and sound after the ride. Yeah, now we're going to check the equipment, and now we have TV here, is it okay for you? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. <laughs> first of all, I'm wearing gloves, of course, and the first thing I do when the horse comes out, I feel here, so this is not too tight, and then I open this chain here, Now it's loose. Now I use the rein here to make the horse open its mouth so I can see what kind of bit she's using. And also check the side here so there's no wounds. Now I change side so I feel in here, nothing there. And I check the mouse from this side. And I also check here. Then I feel the reins all the way up. I feel the leg. And if you come on the other side, I'll show you. Here's the spur, which I feel so it's not sharp. I feel here on the horse's side, so it's not hurt. And also on the saddle cloth, like this, nothing. And I change side again. I do the same. I feel the rein, nothing there. I feel the leg. And I came down, the spurs, nothing there. Nothing on the side and nothing on the saddle cloth. Thank you. Okay. And then we have new gloves for the next horse. Everybody knows the rules or? Yeah, they know the rules, yeah. but they, often they don't quite know what the, the welfare of the horse is. They feel that sometimes they need to have spurs that are a little bit too much for the horse. So the horse can be sore in the side and then they have to wear a body bandage. But we also have to ask them to, to let go of the spurs. They can't ride with the spurs because the horse is so sensitive in the side. And also when it comes to the bit, sometimes they want the horse to, to, uh, to obey a little bit more. So they have uh, maybe too strong bit and you can, you can then see that they are sore in the mouth. So we have actually had a few cases here uh, where they have been too sore and we had the vet to have a look at them because they were uh, too deep sores. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, it sounds like this is a more than a full-time job. It is, <laughs> and, and I can't do it myself. I have, I have six stewards here.